I do not suppose you would allow me to cool down on your chambers, Nick. Why do you You know, everybody getting kind of hot and bothered. Hello there, and welcome to the next episode of Queen Charlotte. You ruffians and rap stallions, you. Hey, what's going on? Sit down. And I'm here with the beautiful Michael Clare. I don't know whether to drink a cup of tea with you or terrible. slap your face. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, thank you all so much for showing such tremendous support uh, for this absolutely uh, fun project with Queen Charlotte. This is episode three. If you need to catch up with the previous episodes, don't worry. You can catch up. There'll be a link in the description. And make sure you stay afterwards because we're going to address uh, some of the fun comments that you all <laughs> leave. You guys are absolutely hilarious. All right. So without any further ado, let's get started. Maybe the queen is coming and they're doing like a... No. Why are you down there? Or it could be just a Thursday. Stern, why are you there? <laughs> True. I am on an errand. Do not interfere. I am here because you are. You have the king. He's so the... small compared to him. I thought they were not speaking. It's just coronation day. Oh. It does not matter if they speak. They must be united. So where is he? The king shall be with her soon enough. He is studying his sciences up in the library. Of course yeah. he is. Uh-huh. He's like... You allow yourself another rider. Do not think I care, but mind he is of the right station. Oh. Hell not. That is not what... There are no other riders. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of <laughs> rare going on. He's a little Go jealous. Tend to your queen. A little bit. Coronation day is a great day for her and the country. He's supposed to make sure that she's not down there for somebody else. Yeah. Oh, he, he a jealous type, huh? Uh-oh. He saw the doctor. Yeah. Yeah. So is this based right after he told him? Probably. Okay. Why is he being examined by a strange doctor in the cellar? Why is he not being examined by the royal physician? Brimsley. Oh. Seen nothing. Mmm. Mother said they had to go all the way across the world to find someone willing to marry the king. There are plenty of ladies right here in London who would have married the king. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I was going on and on to all the ladies at tea. But their love means we now live in an unnatural society. Unnatural society. It's an abomination. It's an experiment. It's an experiment. Your mother says to anyone outside the <laughs> She's going to repeat it to everybody. Oh, absolutely. Mm. It is not my place to question the palace. Mm. No, it's not. And yes, I will serve her at court. She's our queen. Yeah, you ain't got no choice. But the rest of them, socializing among the ton. Mm. Mm. Men can go to whites now, like regular gentlemen. I know they have money, but money does not make them... Us. Wow. But the king gave our family a title and land. All the families of the Ton got their titles and land from the king. That is, it is not the same. It is. <laughs> Daddy always defines a gentleman as a well-educated man of good family. Lord Danbury attended <laughs> Eton with the king's father, and Lord Smythe Smith and Lord Cummings were both at Harrow. Uh-huh. Oxford with Daddy. She's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. so they are exactly like Look at her face. Better in some cases, considering that several of them are from royal families of their own. Right? Much more money than we do. Yes. Violet Ledger, stop All of that. She over there dropping bars. Too much thinking. Don't think, dear child. <laughs> but I would like to request advanced mathematics. <laughs> now our child is requesting education. <laughs> Such blasphemy. Blasphemy. Hello, hello, hello. Happy like... Coronation Day, Daddy. That's right. <laughs> Dearest gentle reader, right, children are the Violet cherished like she might be a little biracial herself. But for a royal you know, in need of an hop, heir. People hop some fences back then. Oh, I know. <laughs> Your Majesty requires more color. What a wonderful tradition with which you have blessed all of England, Your Majesty. I love that he, like, reiterates what she already says to them. <laughs> I did my very best for the doll's house. Dearest, can you marry a dollhouse? Can you embroider me in air? <laughs> then shush. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Old. Your wombs are likely dry and useless. Mm. Yeah, you better, you better put an arch you. in your back and get but you. You could try. Mm. She called absolutely gorgeous. Yes, you Style are. Style yourself. Yes, you are. <laughs> a man might wander onto the grounds. A lost hunter. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Look at her you are face. not milkmaids. <laughs> She said your wombs are dry and juiceless, is what she said. More color. It is Christmas. Dry and juiceless. <laughs> Along on the shelf, gathering dust. Mm. So many spinsters, so little time. I need them to explain 
how uh, some of them children do not look like biracial children. I thought children. that. Like, I thought that too. <laughs> Tell her you would like to host the first ball of the season. Gain her support. So the first ball of the season. Perhaps you should not attend. Perhaps you should stay home with me. No. No. <laughs> no, dearest. I will address the topic with her. Good. So, she is confiding in you. She is. Well, G and the King are now very happy together. She looks like Princess Tiana. After a few strange first dress. days. Oh, wow. Good call. She mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's giving misinformation too, though. I told you, I think she. I told you, she, I think she's smart enough to know what to say and what not to say. Yeah. To benefit herself and and the queen. Mm -hmm. Why they got the Dalmatian coats on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was the name of the woman that was trying to to skin them, skin the dogs? Oh, uh, Cruella Deville. Cruella Deville. That's it. <laughs> We just saw this uh, in, in real life with what's going on in uh, the real world. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Coronation. Save the queen. God save the king. God save the queen. <laughs> Start beatboxing to that bad boy. Right. How dare she have her arms out, though, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she needs to have it covered all the way to her wrist. I hate him. He's infuriating. He is so very Look at the size polite. Of them umbrellas. It is a lie. He is a lying liar who lies. Very happy. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I like her dress. I one. am steadfast. It is all I do. It's pretty. All we do, try to fill my womb with a baby. That is your, it your job. It, it is yeah. your job. <clears throat> right? What is it? It is an even day, obviously. Well, we do not need to adhere to every even day. We do not. And even days, so odd and even days, I guess. Even days are the. The sooner you are with child, the sooner we can cease this performance. Dang. Goodness. Our duty will be done. And I will no longer have to view your face. Dang. Are you coming? Yes. Because I would very much like to have the opportunity to no longer hear your voice. It is difficult. Oof. That can be awful. It is. It is awful. She likes it. Well, I mean, she, he's, a, he's a little more sensual than uh, Lord Danbury. Let me go to my room and bathe. Blah, blah. Yeah, she likes it. It's a nightmare. I am so sorry. I hate everything about him. I hate his ridiculous fate. Look <laughs> at Brimsley with the dog. Will you please no longer breathe so very loudly? Would you please not talk? I will talk if I wish to talk. What exactly is the problem? <laughs> it's my first morning here. And I have remember explained to have been he breathing over, in she my overheard, room. remember? Mm -hmm. I told you. I knew she was going to take it the wrong way, what he said mm. to the mother, remember? Oh, to yeah. His mom? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she only got, she got no context. Exactly. Shall I leave? Yes, leave. Mm. <laughs> look at how they're looking. They're looking at each other like, yeah. what is that? Everybody happening? else is like, Yo, are we, can we look? <laughs> It's an even day, he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not at the, not at the, not at, oh. Shoot, you're the king and queen, why not? I, because it's not Absolutely. appropriate. Absolutely. No. I co-sign that, yes. No. Man, if I'm the most powerful person in the known world, anywhere, anytime, No, duty, duty, sir. I am doing duty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I do not suppose you would allow me to call down on your chambers later. Why is that? You know, everybody getting kind of hot and bothered. Your Majesty can also do charity works of your choice. Oh, wonderful. I should like to do something for poor mothers in hospital. Hmm. Uh, orange. That orange thing tickles me. <laughs> yeah, it would get on my nerves too after no, a while. No, it doesn't get on my nerves. It tickles me. It is ridiculous to make someone else pick my orange. I shall pick my own oranges. There will be no discussion. Yes, Your Majesty. She's starting yeah. to get in her station. Balls, dinners. That's How often I am I to see. his palace events? Uh, the king does not allow social events at the palace of any kind. Because of his, his, uh, what, anxiety? Surely with the title Aww. class. The king does not attend any gatherings of the ton, Your Majesty. Dang. His social graces are intact. He has a nice smile. He is charming. Yeah, tall and strong. You don't know what's going to come on. Yeah. And smells yeah. like a man. It might have something look, look, look. to do with the doctor. Doctor. Oh, you oh. weren't supposed to say anything, Brimsley. I could be incorrect. In, in fact, I misspoke. No, leave us. 
Ah, mm. uh, Grimsley. I can't wait for her to meet her court. She's his wife. She should know. He should tell there her. There is nothing to know. It's not his place to tell. That's what I just said. He should tell her. The king. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't be mad at the kingsman. What is his name? I keep calling him the kingsman. I don't know either. Yeah. I mean, I know Brimsley, but I don't know his name either. Crown must be examined on coronation day. Hmm. What is it? He would think they would want to examine the queen as well. Mm -hmm. Tis all anyone cares about, me making a baby. Right. Instead, you were the one seeing doctors in the cellar. Seems important to you that we were in the cellar. Because the cellar feels like a secret. The cellar is where his examination room is. That is all? That is all. I'll keep your attention on it. There is pressure from Lord Butte. It is none of your concern where the right? pressure comes from. That's facts. Mm, don't overstep. A royal baby is a cause for celebration for the commoners. A sign mm. of love to all and ensures the succession of the bloodline. Yeah. Baby seals the great experiment. We cannot fail. I so want them to stop calling it yeah. that. A ball. Lord Danbury and I would like to throw the first ball of the season. Oh, way to put yourself up there. It would be a display of unity for the ton. The That's first true. ball of the season mm. with you. No, that. that will not be accepted. We'll see. You see how she said it? I know you would like our tease to continue. It would be difficult for you to hear about the queen being with child long after the fact. Would it not? She loves it just... <laughs> I mean, you got it. You've got leverage. I know. I... Did she say when she would let you know about the ball? No. She was not enthusiastic. There will be no ball. Trust. They dangle joy in front of me and never let me grasp it. Hmm. You are every bit as good as they are. Their relationship is is interesting because I think she does respect him. She, I don't think she loves him. No, she probably she respects him like a daddy, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, but as that's a what it's saying. Yeah. A caregiver, yeah. Yeah. Coral, we shall need to make preparations. Mom, I have decided we are going to host the first ball of the season. Oh, you just decided, huh? Princess Augusta gave her approval. No, she has not yet decided, which is where I shall need to send her invitations before she does. <laughs> mm, <laughs> now that, we talked about overstepping. I mean, that's well, an overstep, homie. It is, but yeah, you know. But what? That's an overstep. Know, fortune favors the bold. No, that's a, not when you are. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know, you, you're right. Yeah, no. Wait, it down, right? By Countess Bridgerton. How lovely to see you here. Lovely. Possibly. <laughs> unexpected, definitely. Well, I suppose unexpected is accurate. Mm. It is my husband's birthday today. Mm. Uh, was, would, 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 would have been. Edmund's birthday would have been today. Mm. Mm. I constructed these, oh, elaborate, wonderful hats and he would wear them the entire day. <laughs> He looked ridiculous in them. <laughs> Love. Mm. It reminds me that there are no hats to make. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. You are most fortunate. To have loved. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna I wonder if Dan if they never has loved before. I am fortunate. You may not like today. Mm. But trust me. You are most fortunate. Mm. Yeah, because she has those memories. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's been loved and loved and yeah. us. The Danburys are throwing the first ball of the season. I, we, have received an invitation. Can I go? Miss Fernbust says they have the most magnificent home with endless gardens. No! See the hat? Yeah. The homemade hat? So now we're putting it to get, put the pieces together. Wow. Where is he from? Does she know taste? <clears throat> she said no taste to Mozart. Your Majesty, where did you discover this young Mozart? My man came chess out, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Must be an even day. <laughs> <laughs> I received an invitation to your little ball. Little. little. Delightful. So sad to miss it. We all are, are we not, ladies? So sad. Do you know? Some other time. Mm. You have to expect it. Here's my woman, though. You figure something out. Oh, well, yeah, because the queen's going to be there. Yeah. And how would you not? If you're on the queen's court, you're going to show up where the queen is, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they don't have a choice. Yeah. It is not an even day. It is not. It is decidedly odd. 
I require privacy. What you been doing? How do you spend your days? Farming. I'm unclear on your words. I told you that I enjoy science. You're Part in farming. Of the science is agriculture. I enjoy farming. Yeah, he did say he did tell her that. So King George is Farmer George. Yes, Farmer George. I am Farmer George. These are the hands of a king and a farmer. And an astronomer. Mm. Farmer king. <laughs> Are there medicinal herbs in the garden? No, Your Majesty, just vegetables. <laughs> so, wonder if he grows some of that sticky icky. Well, she just wants to know what's happening. Yeah. Like, why is he out here? Why is he? You know, what is the motivation? What's What's my motivation? Like I'm growing the royal I deck. Have the no. <laughs> well in hand. Do you? The purple haze, if you will. <laughs> Lord Ledger's wife is leading the charge. Parliament is in an uproar. Parliament? Happy wife, happy life. Unhappy wife, I have lords whining all around me, drinking. No one wants to go home. Government is grinding to a halt. I cannot ask her to do that. She will not like it. It sounds like Lady Danbury mm. now has the upper hand. No, of course not. Mm. Just feel I cannot be seen to choose sides. Now, for the sake of the great experiment, the mm -hmm. palace must remain steady in its quest to unite society. Yep. Danbury throws a ball, and this side does not attend. The palace will lose all moral authority, and the great experiment will be in ruin. That's why she did it. Mm. Disaster. There will be no disaster. Good. You will have Lady Danbury cancel the ball. I mean, obviously, we know she's way smarter than they give her credit for, but I think she's even smarter than we know yet. The ball. I wanted to ask if you would encourage the other ladies in waiting to attend. Did you not invite them? I did. Then what is the issue? They're not coming. Is he actually... I believe he's actually gardening. Your Majesty. George, <laughs> he is gardening with his own hands. Why would he do that? Why not? Same... We have people, yeah, Your Majesty, about the ball. Uh, I think perhaps it you was want to a ruse, but orange. every day he marches into that garden. It is so curious. Your Majesty, please. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you not understand? You are the first of your kind. That opened doors, so we are new. Do you not see us? What you were meant to do for us. That's a good point. I tell you to consummate. But she may not understand. I tell yeah. you to become yeah. with child. I she tell didn't you to know how to consummate. For a reason. Mm-hmm. You're not some simpering girl. You are our queen. Your focus should be your country. Your people, our side. Mm. Mm -hmm. Our court. <laughs> you hold our fates in your hands. Your Love palace the emeralds. walls are too high, Your Majesty. Mm. Where are the men who serve the orange drink? They are not needed, Your Majesty. You dismiss them? You pick your own oranges now, Your Majesty. You did not tell me they would be dismissed. You would not have a discussion, Your Majesty. Mm. Right? Night. She'll see you again the day after tomorrow. So I can't even. That is just infuriating. I can't imagine not seeing you except for just that one time every other day. <laughs> that's that's it. You live for the happiness and the misery of a great nation. That must be exhausting mm. and lonely. Mm -hmm. In the garden, I'm a regular man. Farmer George. Do not Nora feel Murphy. sorry for me. I do not know anything else. Mm. I've always been this. An exhibit instead of a person. Mm. You are a person to me. You can be a person with me. That's what I was trying to say. That, that kind of trust has to be earned. George, I know you do not owe me anything after how I have behaved, and I know you do not like social events, but I need us to do something. What do you need? Our palace walls are too high. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he doesn't have to, like, stay forever. He could just, you know, hey, welcome to the ball, and then, Make an you know. appearance, yeah. My lady, you must go get dressed now. You've done it all. This is lovely. Now, Dansbury B, she pushes it to the limit. I, I respect that. You know that song is playing in my head now. Thanks yeah. a lot. <laughs> push it to the limit. You push it. You push it. Okay, I'm done. Oh, she looks beautiful. I'm telling you, her skin tone but how is, is my like, coach? so beautiful Should I have me. a different handkerchief? Look, look, look how jolly he is. Why well, has no one arrived yet? Oh, so that's why they got the no big one is going to come. I, put the stash in I thought you said they were coming. They are coming. 
No, like he more nervous than she is. Maybe they are coming. No, she's super nervous. She's the one that did this. Lord and Lady Ledger. Here we go. Oh, it's her. Mm -hmm. Agatha, how wonderful of you to invite us. I did not think you would be attending. Of course we are attending. We would not miss it. May I? <laughs> this one. But then she received a personal note from His Majesty the King. How could she miss an event that the King is planning to attend? Mm -hmm. Her head would burst into flames. <laughs> She doesn't know that he's coming, does this she? This is the social event of the season. Mm -hmm. Well done, Lady Danbury. Okay. I like you. Let's be friends. I like you, sir. When can I get you on one of my hunts? Her Royal Look Highness. Look at, Look at him. Princess Look, him. Yeah. Oh, snap. Okay. Mm, the princess showed up. Lord Danbury. Lady Danbury. Mm. I am honored. Uh, Your Royal Highness. The honor is ours. You see her face the way she looked mm -hmm. at her, though? They're not mixing, is that what His you're Majesty saying? King George the Third <gasps> and Queen Charlotte. Oh my gosh, I'm a so public appearance. I'm so excited right now. I hope everything goes smoothly for him, though. Yeah. Oh, she looks beautiful. I hope it goes smoothly too, cause. Yeah, you don't want it to be. Yeah, he has like a panic attack. Yeah. Anxiety attack. Lord and Lady Danbury. Oh. Say hello to them. Say hi to your Thank mom. You for having me. And then go. Your Majesty. Yeah. Hey. Shall we? And the, and the king acknowledges you first. Well played, Danberries. Excuse me, my darling. If he asks Lady Danbury to dance, I swear I'm gonna... It's an act of a oh, gentleman. Danbury. May I have a dance with your wife? Uh, you may. Get the party started, yes! Well, I like, you know what? This is gonna be interesting. The conversation that she had with the... Uh, Miss Bridgerton? Yeah. Oh, they had a... This is her love, I bet. I bet. Oh, my gosh. I just got goosebumps because that's so horrible. Uh. I bet you this is who she loved. And who loved her, but they couldn't... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look, look, look at the way she looking. Well, nothing at all. Cause she she probably hasn't seen her son this happy. I was gonna say she can see that they really do yeah. care for each other. Cause remember, all of it has been hearsay. He's yeah. So happy. Yeah. See. Yeah. I have never seen him so. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, they women up in here. He's not a beast. Well, and, well, she's learning too, though, thank that you. it's give and take. She said, "Thank you." You never have to thank me. Oh my gosh. We are a team. Oh my oh! gosh. Are we not? Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> indeed. I am a success. Oh my uh, god. See, that's, that's what bothers yeah, me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, no, it's you, but you're more right. Yes. You are more right. Like the first go round, you were but now I'll be like, listen. You were. We. we. <laughs> you're right. With one evening, one party. We have created more change, stepped yes. forward more than Britain has in the last century. Yes. Mm. With you by my side, I think I can. Oh my gosh, I that's can. how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> because first we're going to find something to eat and then we are going back to my bedchamber and you cannot do that to make it. Oh, I can't? <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do whatever I'd like. I'm the queen. <laughs> My lord. I think that might be it. My lord, have you finished? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Ruckus down. Right after um, his happy My lord. evening. Yeah. He, well, at least he ended, he on ended on, yeah, he yeah. ended winning the night and then ended up winning, winning in some loving. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a whole new issue because how do you protect that? Without a lord. That's what she's thinking. Look at yeah. her. Yeah. Coral, you need not draw baths as often. My lady. It... She's not panicking or nothing? We are done. She's happy. Oh, we are done. <laughs> she's happy. Yeah, okay. I mean, I get that. I get that too. But I guess in my head, I'm thinking, like, how do you maintain your status? Oh, la, 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 okay. Henry, Henry you fetch the doctor. Charlie, wake your fellas now. Sweet, sweet freedom. Lady, my lady, I am coming in. 
Wait here. I will make sure everything is dignified for my lady, and then you can come and help. <laughs> oh, my lady! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, she, she had the. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> kind of you to offer up your entire week of afternoons. Yes, well. And when I sent word today she that I had broken come. a carriage, well, how thoughtful of you to send your own carriage. See, she tried to give every excuse. It was only that I was surprised. Surprised? To encounter you in the church. Oh, I can see how it would be surprising. A wife commemorating her beloved. She doesn't understand, but she's about to. Lord Danbury disdained orphans. Thought educating the poor a waste and found girls useful only for... Bedding. Breeding. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Oh. Now she understands what she was trying to tell her. And in your loving, you go to church to seek solace and connection. In you, Edmund lives on. Mm -hmm. I loathed. And in my loathing, I fund a school to seek revenge and satisfaction in me. Herman rots. Mm. Mm. Full. Mm -hmm. Mine starves. So when I called you fortunate, right. it is because you are fortunate. Mm -hmm. Agatha. Do we have something stronger than tea? <laughs> yes, <wife>. yes. <laughs> yeah. I think we should. <laughs> Brimsley. Yes, Your Majesty. Why do you think my girl's never married? I would not know, Your Majesty. Try to know. I could not begin to. <laughs> <laughs> what? Spit it out, Brimsley. Do not become sentimental now. Mm. You are still his queen. Forever frozen. Forever waiting. Your daughters could not leave you here, trapped in time. Oh. Go and stand over there and stop talking. Mm. Mm. Look that way, not at me. Mm. She's gonna cry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The tree needs more gold. I want more gold tomorrow. She's trying to, you know, try to cover the pain with pretty yeah. things. Well, and and... you choke it down. Yeah, you try yeah. to distract. Yeah. Yeah, with shiny objects, right? Yeah. So he's got that. I forgot what Howard Hughes had. It was a condition where George. you like obsess. Oh, remember A Beautiful Mind? Yeah. You remember that movie? Show you something. Show you something. Show you something. Your Majesties, can I? George is working. Do you go back to your post. We are fine. I wonder where his, uh, the Kingsman is. Probably wherever he George, sleeps. You know, where... It is cold. You have nothing on your feet. I see you. Venus, my angel. I see you! What is it? What is going on? Just stand guard at the garden door, clear the back hall, lock the servants in downstairs if you must, keep everyone away. Please, Brimsley. Mm. Yes! We will stay. Your Majesty. Wait, no! Your Majesty. I feel like you would like to warm up. <laughs> Hello, Venus. Your Majesty, let us cover you up with this. George? Oh. <laughs> you were Venus? Yes. And Venus is going inside. What? You need to come with me. I, I thought you were in the sky. I was in the sky, but now I am going inside. Into Buckingham House. Venus mm. is indoors. Venus is indoors. With you. She is with you. I like that. That was a good scene. That was mm. a very good scene. 
It's a difficult scene. There was a lot of ups and downs in that episode. Okay. Uh, hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us during our reaction. Please stay for the review portion so we can address some of your comments that we love <laughs> uh, reading. Uh, so with that being said, hey, what are your first thoughts? It's so tragic. Those yeah. are my first thoughts. My first thoughts are how tragic each one of, especially like the women that are portrayed, yeah. how tragic their loves are. You know what I mean? There's not one that's like, oh my gosh, this love story is beautiful and f not any blood love story is beautiful and flawless, but I'm just saying it just has so much tragedy. As an observer of the feminine condition <laughs> of how you all navigate uh, this time period mm -hmm. in, in Charlotte, uh, I can only empathize with a lot of stuff that's that's going on, but I'm not wearing blinders. You know, I can, I can certainly see not being able to express yourself completely having the responsibility of maintaining the appearances of, of the men in your life and social statuses and social conditions, not being able to choose who you love, mm -hmm. you know, not being able to dictate almost nothing. Mm -hmm. Even the most powerful woman in the world is still something that should be seen more so as comparison to the King's counterpart. That's tough. I felt bad for Lady Danbury and I was really worried about her because when Laura Danbury died, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, is that her only connection to safety? You know, because of the times. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I don't know how, how the process goes mm -hmm. regarding, you know, the passing of a Lord and what happens to the woman of the house or the estate. I was legitimately like, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a bad situation. Like, how is she going to maintain? But as come to find out, like, I was surprised that it was a moment of celebration, mm -hmm. you know? I wasn't surprised. A, if nothing else, even if it's a moment of celebration within your own, like, you know, her and her best friend or her. Um, her handmaiden, yeah, I guess handmaiden. that's the best way to, best way yeah, to say it. Yeah, so yeah. even if it's just that moment yeah. that they can celebrate because they both know what she has been through. Yeah. I didn't think that it was going to be all sad because at least that has ended. Yeah, if yeah. If nothing else. Yeah. But here's the interesting thing if you think about it with that situation, right? Okay. Well, first of all, she has an agreement with the king's mother. Right, the princess, so, princess, uh, yeah. princess Augusta. So even if Lord Danbury goes away, she still has that. So I wasn't worried about her okay. losing what she has because yeah. she's the one that got it. It wasn't him who got it. So I feel like she would be protected by that relationship, if nothing else. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here's something else that I thought was kind of interesting too, is in that I didn't even realize it until this episode, and that is how oblivious Queen Charlotte is that she's black or that her blackness has conditions and her blackness affects everything, including the kingdom as a whole. And I didn't realize, I, well, I'm not gonna say that she's oblivious to it. I, don't, I just think that she didn't, she doesn't put the necessary effort and time into realizing how important she is uh, until, you know, Lady Danbury was like, hey, you know, you got some real responsibilities, not just to your kingdom, not just to your people as a whole, but also to the people that look like you as well. And I need you to kind of step up and stop worrying about, you know, who's who's farming and help move this progress along, mm -hmm. you know? And then it really wasn't for me that until I noticed that. I was like, dang, I guess she was a little oblivious to it because of her life of privilege. Uh, am, I, am I reading that wrong? No, no, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly, but I don't necessarily think it's just because of her life of privilege. We know very little about her upbringing. Right. We know that it was somewhere in Germany that mm -hmm. she was living with her brother at the time. Okay. We don't know what their community looked like. Right. We don't know if she was very sheltered because she was the only girl and, you know, she had an older brother and I don't know about the other brother. Right. But we don't know what interactions they've had, right? Right. Lady Danbury is from Sierra Leone. Right. So she knows what it's like to come to another location and be treated differently. Right. Than what you're used to or right. how we should be treated. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like the queen coming into the situation, she doesn't know any different. Yeah. You know, this is her first time in this country. Right. She doesn't know how other people are treated because she's very sheltered now that she's the queen. She went straight from being in there yeah. to being the queen. Yeah. Like she was already at yeah. the golden ticket to yeah. begin and with. Yeah, now she's the queen. And then she hit the super lottery. Yeah, and she's very sheltered yeah. and very, yeah. this, you know, uh, spoiled. Right. So she doesn't know any different. She doesn't know how other people that look like her are treated. Right. Yeah. I like the patience that she's kind of displaying because she had patience in that moment to let Lady Dan Billetberry mm -hmm. explain that or is earning more patience uh, when young Brimsley mm -hmm. was explaining that, you know, somebody lost their job because you wouldn't listen. Yeah. You know, somebody's unemployed now because yeah. of that. Yeah. You know? 
Uh, and then we also see her grow more in patience with that beautiful scene in the end, you know, with King George mm -hmm. as she realizes the truth. Because it could have gone a different way. Mm -hmm. It could have been rejection. It could have been not necessarily love and support, but maybe, you know, I got to fend for myself because apparently this man is not capable or whatever. But instead, you know, she she became a nurturer and she listened. To me, it just added just another like really great layer to Queen Charlotte as a whole because this later version of her is seems so cold as compared to this one. But now I'm getting more backstory as to what the inevitability of who our character is going to be in their present, if that makes sense. I think part of that, obviously, as we know, is appearances as far as how she is now. Okay. She's had to portray that person. Right. Because of who she is and her stature and her station in life. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So she's learned how to shut off all the other parts of her mm -hmm. in order to be who she's supposed to be due to her duty. Right. We don't know how many people get to see that side of her. Right. I'm thinking that Lady Danbury, because they're still friends, may be the closest to possibly seeing... Well, and... and uh, Brimsley. Yeah, I Brimsley. think Brimsley. I think Brimsley, Brimsley is probably the only one that gets a yeah. chance to really so Brimsley be gets, in the room. Yeah, Brimsley all gets all of that. Yeah, and then uh, I think probably Danbury is probably a close second, and so I'm curious to see how vulnerable she's able to be with them yeah. because I think that that's her only opportunity. Okay. Uh, what did you think about the ball? I don't think it was a large ask. I think that when she sent the invitations, even after getting a no. Mm -hmm was slightly disrespectful. Okay, yeah. I understand why she did it. Yeah, 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 And I yeah. appreciate, you know, all of the things that happened because of it, yeah, you know, but yeah. that risk was very, that was, was, a, was very disrespectful. That was a big yeah. one. And, yeah. okay, so do you think Princess Augusta respects Lady Danbury more because she put her in that position? Or do you think that's going to cause more static in their relationship? I think it's going to cause more static in their relationship Okay. because of the look that she gave her when she first came into the ball. Oh, Casey, I took the look oh, as no. kind of like a well done. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I took you took that it as, as like a, a, I'll get to you I'm later. I'm going to get you later? Yeah, I'm huh. going to get to you later. What did you all think about that look? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it's one thing you can count on when it comes to a project done by Shonda Rhimes is you're going to get some sex scenes. Oh, be it, be it, you know, TV ready for a for ABC, CBS, NBC or whichever one that, you know, her most of her projects come on. Or if it's uh, the Bridgerton universe, it's going to come in hot and heavy. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't disappointed. I was like, yo, we, we, we getting it in. Is oh it gosh. is it too much? I don't think it's too much because that's her. That's one of the main focuses of what they're doing, why they got married, right? right so right. they have to uh, produce heirs. Yeah. And the only way to produce heirs is to f meet up on even days, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I don't think it was too much. And it's not overdone or like, you know, the only thing that I don't like to see is when it's Lady Danbury and Lord Danbury. Just oh, because even yeah. though it's consensual, it's still not, you know, something that she enjoys. So yeah, but it's that weird gray area about consensuality I don't well, that's, know that's a real word yeah. or not. she's doing her duty yeah that's the only aspect of it that i don't yeah. particularly care for but the as far as like queen and the king i don't mind it okay yeah i don't right. mind it at all it's you know leading to the air <laughs> <laughs> apparently not good airs but yeah. you know yeah and see that's the other thing i know we're getting a little bit off track regarding i'm about to get a little off, bit off track regarding this particular episode but it does make me scratch my head excuse me and that is the appearance of the kids some look biracial, others mm -hmm. look like all just one thing. Yeah. And so I'm curious to see how that unfolds. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe there's some some infidelity that happens later on. Yeah, or, yeah we don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. yeah. But maybe it's, Neptune it's, and Saturn show up. Yeah, I don't know. But, <laughs> you know, I'm looking at them kids and I'm like, that ain't your baby. Yeah. Wait, I had it. <laughs> that okay. ain't your baby. Okay, if, okay, if, you, if you've watched it, you would understand. I had a House of Dragons moment right there. I was like, Venera. Yeah. That, that, those aren't your children. Those are not your children. Whose baby is this right here? I'd say number 13, number 12, yeah. and number All eight. the odds. All, all the, the odd, odd days. Numbers. All the odd days. We're Saturn and, we're Saturn and Neptune. Yeah, Venus. Another Venus must have showed up and was like, hey, 
<laughs> all right, all right. So, hey, thank you so much for the commentary. Oh, um, so we funny. do want to we do want to jump into some of these comments that you all left because we do read them. We want everybody yeah. to know we do read them. We may not be able to address all of them, but we do read them and we do pick out a few uh, from the that, previous episode. Yeah, yeah from yeah. the previous yeah. episode. So uh, let me go ahead and grab some of these up. You want me to read the first ahead, one? Yeah. I haven't. Okay, let me see what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, this is from uh, I am who I am. I'm so happy I didn't have to wait long for you guys to release the next reaction. I started watching the show after you dropped the first episode of reactions and binged it in one day. Wow, you go ahead and get it in. Yay! I've been subscribed to you guys for a while now, and I have once shunned watching TV shows. Now I watch shows after you guys react to them, like Yellow Jackets <laughs> and The Last of Us. It was because of you guys that I found House of Dragons and have been obsessed with that show still. Thank you for doing what you do. Wow, that was right. Wow, that was really nice. Thank right? you so much. I am who I am. Okay, now there are more. There are more related okay. to the actual show. Okay, uh, Z. That was really nice. That was super Thank nice. Z. Um, I don't understand why the Danbury family are enduring this in England when they're royals themselves. Mm. Maybe like the French, the British royals keep nobles and other royals around to keep an eye on them and to avoid them or their relatives rebelling against them. Oh, what do you think that's about that? Yeah, what do you think about that? Yeah. Well, I think sometimes you need. Uh, a direct source to to the kingdom mm. to address the needs of the home country. Mm. So you kind of send somebody as like an aunt envoy per se. Maybe that's that's the term I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. But you send somebody as a representative of the land. You get those lands. You mm -hmm. become a lord as mm -hmm. you sit there, and then it makes it so that when these big decisions for those countries are being made, it's not being made without somebody mm -hmm. from the home country having some say regarding it. That's, that's what I'm guessing why why you would leave those particular lands in order to be there. I get that. I like do, an ambassador or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I do get that, but I wouldn't necessarily send royalty for that. Right. I would send, like you said, maybe an ambassador of the country, right. but I wouldn't send, you know, my royalty to go do that. Well, from my understanding of kings and queens in this era, era and reading a lot of Game of Thrones, um, a lot of times the children of the kings and the queens mm -hmm. are sent in order to solidify alliances. Oh, okay. Well, so even though she is royalty, that's like one of the big perks of having a very large family mm -hmm. because you can use that to, to bridge a lot of alliances. Okay, well that makes that's, sense. And please, please, please yeah. correct me if I am wrong. This is just from reading a lot of Game that of Thrones. Would just, that, <laughs> but that, 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 would be, that would just be absolutely hard to leave, though. Yeah. Just to come to this madness. Yeah. yeah. No, I feel you. Yeah, and I, I can only imagine how much she misses home. Mm -hmm. um, next question. Uh, this one is coming from Caroline285. I don't know if anybody already co commented this, but there's a reason for Lady Danbury's words to Queen Charlotte about the dog. The dog is Pomeranian. The breed comes from Germany. King George didn't give her just any dog. He gifted her... He gifted her a dog specifically from her country. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cool little tidbit. I thought so too. Yeah, I didn't even know that about Pomeranians. Yeah. I just knew it was a sweater dog. And I love Pomeranians. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> I think they're really cute. Okay. Um, pom pom. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so imagine he thought he was being thoughtful. Yes. Right. And, and she, she didn't even know what it was. She thought it was a deformed rabbit. But she then knew that goes what it was. back. But that goes yeah. back to what you were saying that maybe she is not really of that country. She's not. Know? Yeah. So. Yeah. She's never been there before. She knows nothing about it. You no, know I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Germany. Oh, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's why, maybe that's why she didn't recognize, you know, what, yeah. what it was. Oh, um, I want you to read this one. This is the last one. I I, I've, I read it. I, I think it's really, I think you find right. it fascinating. Uh, this one comes from uh, <laughs> Night Owl 30 Thank you so much for your comment, Night Owl. Uh, I was one of the graphic designers on the show. Wow, and trust me, doing those sex drawings was hilarious for us, LOL. <laughs> All four of us in the graphics department had to go. <laughs> It had, had to go, yeah. <laughs> and it kind of became a little competition. But one of us ended up with the best drawings, of course. Believe it or not, we had actual references from that time. That's a <laughs> wow! You took an interesting <laughs> comment and made it even more interesting with the references too. On yeah. top of that, I thought that was fascinating because you know we were laughing yeah. at the at the pictures. You were like, "I wonder who drew those." I mean, like talking yeah. about on the show. But I thought that was really cool. Wow. Well, first off, um, well done on the art. That yeah. Was, yeah. Hey, you know, you you hit the anatomy quite right. We hope we hope it produces an air. Yeah, yes. It yes. <laughs> Hopefully your art has inspired. I'm sure it's probably inspired some people in the real world too that's watching the show. It was like, hey, you get that tantric book out oh here. Oh my god. But that whole thing, you know, we haven't tried that Listen before. to this one. Right, look, I'm just saying, uh -huh. look, I'm just saying we uh -huh. appreciate y'all. Uh -huh. Oh no, that was right. it. That was okay. it. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Uh, if you want to get to know this little lady a little bit better. Snooty Vegans on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. 
Follow along, subscribe, link in description. Tenzo Fado. <laughs> You've been enjoying this conversation. You haven't subscribed. What are you doing? Hit that subscription button. Of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. One more thing. I know we've been getting a lot of comments regarding the Patreon. The Patreon is still a work in progress. If you go there now, there will be a dead link. We're just having some technical difficulties regarding the projects going over to that platform, but we are steady trying to work that out. But thank you all so much for the support. We will leave a shout out and a link in the community section when the Patreon is up and running. So without any further ado, uh, you know, we're gonna catch you on the next episode.